The aim of this video is to introduce the bit clear file and the bit set file command. And after we've looked at this video, you should be able to set and clear bits in file registers using the bit set file and the bit clear file commands. Just to recap, let's quickly have a look at the format of the bit set file. So bit set file will set a bit inside of a file. You have to specify the bit that you want to set as well as which file register you want affected. A typical command will look like this bit set file 6, which is file register 6, and you want to set bit number 0 in file register 6. Very important is that bit set file can only set one bit and not set multiple bits. So you can set a bit at a time with this specific command. The next command is bit clear file. Uh, bit clear file will clear a bit inside of a file. And once again, you need to supply the file register as well as which bit you want to clear inside of that file register. Remember, just as with bit set file, it can only clear one bit and not clear multiple bits. You can have multiple commands, multiple bit clear files uh, underneath each other, but it's important to understand that it can only clear one bit at a time. Okay, let's have a look at how do you go about using those commands. I have Pixum IDE opened up already. Um, before you start, however, remember that you need to set the microcontroller uh, or select which microcontroller you want to use. There's two ways for you to do that. The first one is to go to options, select microcontroller and then select the PIC16F627 or the 16F627A, depending on which one you have. Or you can just simply go and click uh, next to microcontroller on that, uh, on the model number of the microcontroller and then uh, the select microcontroller screen will open up as well for you to select whichever one you want to use. I'm going to select the PIC16F627. Okay, so um, let's quickly do an example with bit clear file and uh, bit set file. I've already started this program to save a bit of time, but you need to remember that there has to be a comment block in the beginning of your code to just explain to whomever is reading this what your intentions are. So I'm the author of this program. The title is bit set file and bit clear file instructions. And there's a small introduction that just says uh, I'm going to introduce these two commands uh, in simulation only. Remember that you have to have these four lines of code in the beginning of your program as standard. Uh, org zero, go to initialize, which will essentially have the program jump to this label here. And org four and the return from interrupt command, which will return from interrupts if you have some other interrupt that you might have used. This program, we're not going to use this, but it's a good programming practice to put that in. Okay, let's have a look. First, we are going to use bit set file. Uh, you will remember from the slides that it needs to have a file as well as a bit. So depending on which file you want to work with, um, well, the address of the file that you want to work on, it needs to be put in there. Uh, I'm going to use timer zero just as an explanation um, because we can see each of the bits that will be affected. But you can uh, use any SFR and you can also use any GPR. Remember that the SFR registers are the special function registers, which has to do with the working of the PIC and the peripherals of the PIC, whereas the general purpose registers are those registers which uh, you as a programmer can use to save your data in. Uh, I'm using timer zero, it's, as I've mentioned, simply because I want to see each one of the bits separately. And it's a bit more difficult to see uh, in the GPRs. So if we want to change a bit in timer zero, we need to use the address of timer zero. Timer zero's address is uh, 001 or 01 X. So we can just put 01 in there. And if we want to set bit number zero, we put the zero in there to indicate that we want to set bit number zero inside of file register one. So after this command has been executed, this bit over there should turn reddish. The other command that we had a look at was bit clear file. 
where bit set file sets a bit inside of a file, bit clear file will clear a nominated bit inside of a file. So um, I'm still going to use timer zero. Uh, so it's still file address one. And we want to now clear this bit or clear bit zero. Essentially what will happen, what we should see is that with bit set file command, this bit will change to a one. And with bit clear file command, this bit here will change to a zero. So in order for us to run this program, we need to go to tools, assemble and load. If you've done everything correctly, you will see that there's no errors. Now we want to go and simulate this. But before we simulate, uh, you need to open up a screen uh, which is called the Breakpoints Manager. It's going to ask you, do you want to load the program that was uh, that you just compiled and just click on yes. And you will now see your program loaded in the Breakpoints Manager. Uh, we go to simulation uh, or in the simulation window, you'll see there's a there's a number of options. But before you go there, go to rate and just make sure that it's on step by step. So now that you've selected step by step, you can go to simulation. You can click on start and you will see that there's a little yellow arrow here. This arrow shows you the value of the program counter and this shows you which command is going to be executed in order to step through the program you can use the F2 key or you can go and click uh, in this menu. I'm going to use the F2 key. Um, so when I press the F2 key on this command, the program counter or the arrow should actually jump to main. There's no code at the label initialize. So it's just going to go to the next line of code, which is there. The pressing F2 jumps to location 5 or memory location 5 and it when i press f2 again it is going to execute bit set file 0, 01 comma 0 and we should see this little block there turning red let's see if that happens f2 yes it did so bit set file set uh, set bit 0 inside of memory location 0, 01 the next command is going to be bit clear file bit clear file should now change that back to being a white rectangle. Let's see. Pressing F2, yes, it changed it back to zero. As you can see, every time that bit set file is executed, the little block over there changes to a red. Every time that the bit clear file is executed, bit zero of file one, so bit zero of file one is cleared. Okay, so if we are done with the simulation, we can just close the breakpoints manager and that will take us back to our program wherein we can go and add or change some of the code. I want to just uh, show you something else. Let's just um, do another bit set file. We're still going to use uh, the value of timer one, sorry, the value of timer zero, uh, register one. And let's assume that we want to change bit position two. Remember that this is a position is the bit position inside of that memory location. So over here, we affect bit position zero and over here, we affect bit position two. So this position here is bit position zero and that position there is bit position two. Let's see what happens when we execute or simulate this program. So we go to assemble and load. No errors, which is a good thing. We go to tools. We open up our breakpoint breakpoints manager. It is going to ask, do we want to load this? Yes, we do want to. We ensure that our rate is step by step and we can then start our simulation. Remember by pressing F2, we are now going to stepwise go through this program. Pressing F2 goes to bit set file. So we expect this bit here to change to a one. Yes, that's happening. Bit set file 0, 01 comma two. Uh, it says that bit 2 in file 1, so bit 2 is that one there, file 1 is still timer 0, that should now be set after I uh, press F2, yes. Then this command bit clear file is going to change, uh, sorry, is going to clear bit 0 in file 1. You've seen previously it should be that one. Okay, 
Now, since we do not have a bit clear file on bit position two in file one, this bit position there will be a one forever. The program does not change that. Once again, if you are, if you are done with your simulation, you can just click on the close window button and this will take you back to your similar window wherein you can add and change your code. To conclude this video, uh, we've looked at bit set file and bit clear file. Bit set file will set a bit in a file and you need a file register address as well as the bit position that you want to change. Bit clear file on the other hand clears a bit in a file and once again you need a file register as well as the bit position that you want to clear. Very very important to remember is that bit set file and bit clear file affects only one bit inside the specified file register and you cannot change more than one bit at a time. You can however have multiple bit set file and bit clear file instructions but they only affect one bit at a time.